Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? I know I've been having trouble keeping up with the videos again, but I did want to get the Double Masters out as soon as I possibly got my hands on some of it. So, once again, another Double Masters, and once again, production problems and issues and delays, and yeah, we'll see what happens with it. But this is the new Double Masters 2022. I know some people have already opened some of this stuff, so... This won't be the first one, but hopefully you guys will get a kick out of this and enjoy the video, like it. Check out the description below. There's a lot of good links down there. Save your money, get your cash back on all your purchases. Um, you know, free money. I like money. Uh, money's good. So check out those links in the description below. Use some of those links that really help out the channel. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that they did kind of make this one more draft worthy than they did the, the last double masters which came out at a time we couldn't draft anyway so it doesn't really matter but anyways let's see this is a first draft box i'm opening this so i checked out some of the spoilers so i know some of the cards that are in here and stuff and it's just packed i mean this this set's unbelievable powerhouse i kind of think they should have put some of the chase cards in here into commander legends boulder's gate there Probably would have made more sense to me, I think, uh, instead of putting all your eggs in one basket like they did with this set. All right, we do have the Japanese-made packs, which hopefully means we'll have a little better quality cards, a little prettier foils in this set, uh, or at least in these packs. So let's see what we get. Of course, we get our uh, bear token. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, they're double-sided tokens. Now, Drazi Scion on the back. Okay. It's two times masters. Should be double-sided. Cryptic Spires, the new little land where you select your own dual land colors, which is pretty neat. Cool for draft. I don't think people are going to use it outside of draft because it comes on the Battlefield tab, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, a full art foil friction altar for our first card. That's, uh, that's a pretty good way to start the box, I think. Um, we'll put that up there. <laughs> and then just a common foil. And then a Grand Arbiter. And an Ashenmore Lees for our first two rares. And then we got our uncommons. Now, here we go. We got a ghoul turf in the uncommon slot. Full art. You can't get the full arts, I've noticed, in any slot. And there can be more than one in a box or in a pack. So trailers, amulet, such good reprints, and there's so many good reprints in this set. It's unbelievable. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this set, but this set is just a powerhouse. But of course, just like all good powerhouse sets, got a soldier and an egg. Um they're having production issues, so there's going to be all kind of chaos at the beginning here. Foil Trailers Amulet. All right. Backdraft Hellkite and Lava Lance for our first, uh, or our second two rares here. And some cool uncommons. And our commons. Anything full art? All right. We got to look through every pack because the full arts can be anywhere. I like that they did that. I think it's cool because uh, now we don't have to... We don't have as many people speeding through the packs like we do when there's a <laughs> when we know exactly where the the funny stuff's gonna be or the special stuff I guess you'd say. Simeon Titan, all right, Imperial Archangel and Wilt Leaf Leads for our next rares and a Boiler Works. So I think it's good they printed the Bounce Lands again. Uh, nope, see, it could be anywhere, anywhere. So. I like the Bounce Lands, and um, it's one that, uh, because I sold my collection back in the day, and I missed the other sets that they were in, I don't have a lot of, so it's nice to finally get some. Of course, I did pick up a ton in a collection here recently. I've got a lot of collections recently that I have to go over. Another Spires in every pack. And Spinner and Glory. There's our first Mythic, Concordant Crossroads. That's a good one, too. I ran out of room up here, though. Now, we'll keep track of our mythics up there. And then, uh, Viheni Undying Person. I uh, guess that's how you say that. I don't know. Terminate. Good little uncommon. And burial rights. So, yeah. Can't speed through the packs like we normally can. Because they might not all just be normal commons back there. You have to look for the full arts. Ooh, fairy rope token. Isn't that one from the, uh, secret layer art? Looks like secret layer art. Um, let me know in the comments if that's the secret layer art or not. Augur and Umbra. Oh, full art Liliana for our next mythic. That's nice. So, all right. We only got three mythics, but one of each. And then a Leonin Arbiter. Uh, Dragon Arch. Cool. 
And any full arts? Nope. Okay. Got our full art in the mythic slot. That's that's better than getting a common full art. I'm okay with that. <laughs> These boxes are uh, pretty stacked. Of course, the collector's boxes be more stacked. Oh, that's such gorgeous art. I love that golem art. Freaking golem art. Alright. Oh, hyena umbra foil. That's cool. Fiery Justice and Magister Sphinx. And nothing too exciting in the uncommons. And no forks. Alright. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think just like Dole Masters 1, uh, this is just a powerhouse set. I think it's even more powerful than Dole Masters 1. Got the Fairy Rogue again, and the Monk Token. Flicker Waste Foil. And nobody cares. And Dauntless Escort and Hostage Taker. Okay, decent little one. Uh, lightning Bolt at Uncommon. <laughs> they keep jumping around. It's rare, it's common, it's uncommon. It's rare, it's common, it's uncommon. All right, every set is different. All right. But it is still, I, in my opinion, one of the most powerful cards ever printed. So, on one hand, I'm glad to see Lightning Bolt showing up in a lot of sets so people can get a lot of variants of it. But on the other hand, it's like, eh, we've done that a lot. Twin Flame for a foil rare. And Call Against Command for a rare. That's good rare. And Bedlam Reveler. I think Call Against Command still worth something. Ooh, a Chancery with the uh, full art. Gorgeous. And nothing in the back. All right. All right. We're a third of the way through the box. So far, we've got three Mythics. All really good Mythics. <laughs> and uh, two of the full art uncommon bounce lands. And uh, one full art common. So... Not doing too bad for the first third of the box. All right, we got a knight and zombie token. Group expires, of course. Aristocrat, spy. Damnation. Nice. Uh, the original Time Spiral block was one of my favorite blocks to play in. I was playing real heavily at the time, so Damnation's got a nice little soft spot in my heart. And uh, Leviathan. And, oh, another full art gorgeous land there. Of course, there's going to be tons of those because I accidentally... Eh, accidentally put them in the, uh, the Commander Legends collector's boxes for a little bit of the shipment, apparently. Uh, Cat Dragon and Soldier. I think Kitty Dragon's awesome. Look at him. Meow. Anyway. All right. Spires. A foil of the Balanced Lands. And Saber. Crucible of Worlds. Nice. Another Mythic, and it's another good one. Legion Initiative. Uh, Inquisition. Valuable card. I just don't like discard. <laughs> I don't like playing against it. Uh, so I don't usually play it because, you know, you can't complain about something and then turn around and do it to other people. You know, you can't say it's no fun to play against and then make other people play against it. So I don't run counter spells or discard usually. So, Boar Treasure. It's very rare that I would. Eh, usually just in like draft or sealed if I don't have a choice. Marcus Command, Mothus Fiend Seer, and another one of the Bounce Lands. Is it Charm? Is it or isn't it Charm? Uh, Burning Tree Emissary, such a great common reprint. And Rampant Growth, there we go. Another foil, or a full art common. Full common. <laughs> another full art common. I'm awake, I swear. No, I'm not really awake. I'm just, I'm just dreaming this whole thing, I think. I think I'm still in bed. I wish it was still in bed. All right, Cat Dragon, Spirit again. Kirk Spires. Cummins, Master of Cruelties for our next Mythic. And Impervious Great Worm for a really good rare. And hey, a Full Art Eternal Witness in the Uncommon slot. Not bad at all. I still, I still love the original Eternal Witness artwork. And anything that's not the original artwork... Kind of annoys me, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> just because that original artwork is just so epically good. Um, I just, I can't look at Eternal Witness unless it's the original art. So, that one will be for sale. <laughs> Drake, Angel, Cryptic Spurs, Mana Leak coming, and Drain's Assistant. Oh, what do we got here? Dockside Extortionist, full art. Nice. Another Mythic, and it's a good one. Oh, a Forbidden Orchard for a rare. So that was a pretty good pack. And, yep, a Sanctuary. So definitely a really good pack there. And, oh, and a common. A, Quas Quas a Quasali Pride Mage. Yeah, I can say that. Um, maybe with a little more sleep, it's possible. All right, so our right, next, uh, so we got two Full Arts in there. A Full Art Mythic and a Full Art Common. So that's pretty cool. Apparently, 
Oh yeah, I did see somebody get more than one in a pack, so yeah, it is possible to get more than one full art in a pack. Vampire, Sepperling, Spires, Shaman, Disfigure, Door in the Seeds Tower. I love this guy. I've got a Door in deck in Modern. It's so much fun. <laughs> Turn three, you're smacking them for like 15 points of damage with a bunch of zero power creatures. It's awesome. Inlet the Dreamer, and nothing too exciting in the uncommons. Any full arts? Nope, no full arts. All right. Not a huge value pack, but Doran is a great card to build around. It's a lot of fun. So, I like them, even though they've copied them a few times and, and less colors here recently. Uh, Treasure and Boar. Spires, of course. Nothing big in the foil. Surgical Extraction. There we go. That used to be a very pricey card, and it's come down quite a bit. But still a good, usable card. Uh, Rurik Thar, the Unbowed. And... Oh, Bloodbraid Elf. Nice little, nice little uncommon reprint there. And I see a full art in the back here. Ooh, Monastery Swift Spear full art. That's a good one. And they, they put it in common. So, yep, you can now use Monastery Swift Spear in Pauper. So the, the Pauper uh, Red Deck wins is probably going to be winning a lot now. So that was a huge boost to uh, to Pauper Red Decks. Sapperling and Vampire. And what do we got here? Micaiah's the Lunark, and Rebel Arc. Okay, that would have been a good one for a white draft pack. And Rakdos Carnarium for a nice and common. And on Earth, there's so many really good reprints in the common and uncommon spot. And downshift and stuff. I'm not a big believer in the upshifting and downshifting, but I mean, it makes sense for the Masters product, for sure. Because, you know, you got a whole bunch of huge epic mythics, you know, you can't really... Oh, the Liliana, the Last Hope emblem. And a spear token. You can't really uh, put everything in mythic spot or rare slot. You gotta put something in common and uncommon that's powerful. Straight from darkness. Ooh, Shadowborn Apostle foil. That price on the original one's probably gonna plummet like crazy. Um, Rarity was its only reason for being expensive. Uh, Battle Axe Krasis. That's a downshift I love because uh, I didn't really think he should have been a mythic in the first place. Um, of course, this is going to destroy the price of the Allegiance boxes. I think it was Allegiance he was in, right? Uh, so it's going to destroy the price of the Allegiance boxes because that's what was keeping the price up so much. So we'll see what happens with that. But Lightning Helix, good reprint. So we'll see what happens. But I have a feeling that the Allegiance boxes might might dip a little bit because of the reprint on that because that was the most expensive card in the set at Mythic. So now that it's rare, it's going to be a little easier to get your hands on. Although these masters, these dual master sets, cat dragon and monk, uh, these dual master sets with the problems. Ooh, nice full heart foil seeker of the way. Cool. And we got Drag Skull Reaver. Great one. I got him in uh, a deck that I. Oh, no, I don't have him. No, he's the seven drop. Never mind. He's not good. <laughs> Skull Briar the Walking Grave. And nothing exciting there. Um. Yeah, the, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. It's too early. <laughs> I get distracted so easy. Squirrel. Yeah. Uh, the Double Masters 1 and Double Masters 2 again, because of all the production problems and issues. Uh, they're not as easy to get as you would think. Oh, Force of Negation. It's a, it's a rare, but it's a big money card. Oh, and a Hellkite Overlord Mythic in the same pack. We're doing pretty good in this box, I think. <laughs> I'm going to put that up there next to the Mythics, even though it's not a Mythic, just because I'm all drifter. It's, uh, it's basically worth more than most of the Mythics in the set. So, yeah, these sets, because of the issues and the, the low print run, um, they're not as common as you would think to get out there. So, maybe it won't affect the values as much. Like, Double Masters 1 didn't really drag the values of the individual cards down a whole lot. Some of them it did. But not all. Abbot of Carol Keep and Rishkar. Pima Renegade. There you go. Another Garrison. So that's good. So we'll see what happens with the values. Another Swift Spear. Nice. Um, we'll see what happens with the values. But I don't think they're going to. This set's going to drag the values down as much on all the cards. Some of the ones that this is like their first reprint, uh, it's going to drag the value down because now there's going to be a lot more supply out there than there was previous to this. But. For the most part, uh, Lend of the Dusk Rose for a nice uh, Mythic again. Oh, and a Full Art Flicker Wisp. That's pretty guard. I don't think it's worth anything, but 
I don't know why they keep reprinting Flicker Wispies. He's out there a lot. <laughs> Although Flicker decks are becoming a little more popular now, so we'll see what happens. Maybe he'll uh, find a little bit of a resurgence here in the value. I don't know. Some more people start building around him. Gallman Mill. All right. And a Tarkus Command. And Terriol. And a, another Growth Chamber. I'm trying to keep these cars centered, but I'm so tired I can't hold my arms up. All right. What do we got left? Two more packs to go. It's a uh, it's been a pretty good box so far. Start off with a bang with that Frixian altar. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get in the last couple packs. Hopefully, we get something really spicy ready to close here. Oh, nice full art foil garrison. Experiment one and panharmonica. Not a bad rare. Taller in the sky somewhere. Not bad. Um, not great, but not bad. Could be worse. All right, last pack. What are we gonna get? Last chance for glorious clues here. My, my box is overflowing. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stuff everywhere. All right. I'll just throw stuff up there. All right. <laughs> Bear and Eldrazi Sion. Spires, come on. Give us something fancy. Yeah, full rampant growth. Not bad. Crew and Stricker. And Teferi's Protection. Full art. Not a bad close. Zero the Enchanter. Uh, I'll throw that over there. Our other rare. Devoted Druid in the Uncommon Spot. That's nice. Rancor. Anabliska. So, or Basilica. So, a lot of good Uncommons in that pack. And, oh, a full art Spell Pierce. Uh, those have been flying out of these boxes. From what I've seen, there's a lot of those. Oh, and a full art Brain Tree. I missed it right at the last card. So, not a bad way to end as far as the Commons go. So, there we go. So, Here's our, here's our Mythics. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two of which are full art. Lily and the uh, Dockside Extortionist. We've got a Concordant Crossroads. It's a great reprint. Crucible of Worlds. Master Cruelties. Hellkite Overlord and the Lend of the Dusk Rose. Uh, we did get the full art. Well, full Monte Box Topper version of the Frixian Altar, which is amazing. So... Great rare there, and then also a full art to Perry's protection rare and a force of negation. So epic rare hits. Um, for our uncommons, we got a foil garrison, uh, full art flicker wisp, paternal witness, rot farm, chancery, and gruel turf. So we got what three, four, four of the bounce lands in the uh, in the full art there. So pretty cool. And then for our common full arts, we got a brain tree emissary. Great. Spell Pierce. Seeker of the Way. Monastery Swift Spirit. Great. Pride Mage. Rampant Growth. And then two Seeker of the Ways. One foil, one non foil. So not bad at all. I think that was a pretty good box. Um, I don't think we lost money on that one. So, <laughs> which is amazing because these boxes, I paid $350 for them. So I did not order them pre order on Amazon like I should have. Um, now, with your regular sets, it's usually not good to do that because you can probably find them cheaper a couple weeks after release uh, with a lot of them. But, I mean, there is always that chance that there's going to be a really popular set like Kamigawa and just go up in price after release. But 9 times out of 10, you, you can find the regular boxes a little bit cheaper after release. But with these specialty products, especially the master sets that sell out like crazy because they're hugely popular and... They keep coming up with new issues with the release and stuff like that. Those, it might be a good idea to pre-order pre on Amazon. And, if, you know, you're at least going to get locked into that price. I should have done that with this set. I should have ordered tons of them. I could have gotten twice as much product if I'd have pre-ordered at like $250 instead of waiting till now and having to pay $350 a box for the draft boxes and $300 a box for the almost, I think, like 275 a box i had to pay for the collectors so yeah uh, i waited too long on these because i've been so busy with other things other irons in the fire i got a bunch of collections that are really crazy collections including like uh uh graded cards and stuff that i just got in so i'll be going over those as soon as i get a chance but a lot of craziness going on right now i'll explain later on uh a lot of surprises coming but anyways Check out the description below. Hit some of those links. It really helps out the channel, and I truly appreciate everything you guys do. I love the views, the likes. It all means a lot to me. I love doing the channel. I'm not going to stop doing the channel no matter what. I'm just having a little bit of a lull right now because i got so many other things going on, but they're all going to be related to the channel and help the channel. So 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I do have collector's boxes I'm going to upload uh, later. And uh, more draft boxes. So uh, stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.